Hey guys, welcome back. It's Rowena. It's Felicia. Since we just wrapped up our Skincare 101 series, we thought we'd give you guys an updated skincare routine for my dry and her oily face. Yeah, but actually both of us have kind of combination. So you know that we try a lot of products because they've either been sent to us or we just want to like go out and look for the next best thing. These products are the ones that we generally like keep coming back to and use in like our normal daily lives when this we're not. This was my past month. So we're going to go from cleansing all the way through to toning, serums, moisturizer, and hopefully you guys can get a better look at what we actually use because I have problematic like acne, but hers is like dry and dehydrated sometimes, especially for the winter. So let's just get into what we've been using. Let's start off with cleansers. Do you love this one or do you love this one? <laughs> <laughs> so Rowena actually gave this to me. This is the Osea Ocean Cleansing Mud. I truly love this because of the minty feeling and just how refreshing it feels. So it's got tea tree. It's also got the mud, which is really hydrating. So we talked about in our previous video, mud and clay are different. It's just like really lightweight. It's like peppermint mocha on your face. Yeah. You wake up every morning, you're like, oh. <laughs> it just feels so clean. Like it invigorates and wakes you up. It's gentle enough to use in the day and at night. So I really, really like this one. So the most important thing, as she just said, cleansers should be gentle enough, but still effective enough. Because the most important thing with cleansers is that they take away the day's grime or after a night's sleep. If you guys do wash your face in the morning, it yeah. helps clears away all the oil, the extra sebum, like all the things that have accumulated on your skin over time. You want to wash it off so that products to follow toners, serums, yeah. moisturizers, everything will work to its maximal potential. Yeah. <laughs> And if you really do care about pores, cleansing is probably one of the most important ones because it just helps to get rid of any of the buildup that's actually in there and wash it away, wash it away. And this one does say it's good for oily and combo. And it says visibly fights blemishes with algae and green tea and reduces shine and also just like decongest. So I really, really like this one. Did it work for you? It did. I feel like something like this is gentle enough that it probably works better for people with oily combo mm. skin, but then it works across the spectrum. I really like this brand. Because they also have just the plain cleanser, right? Which is also really light. But yeah, this is kind of like my favorite. And then this we both have. This we both have. And this we both love. This is from Nine Wishes. This came in that Costco Oma. Oma pack. Even though there were so many products within that, I just really like this one right off the bat mm -hmm. after first using it. Because it's got the micro ground rice powder and it's infused with rice bran water, which is something that the Japanese used to do all the time. So it's really gentle. It smells really good. The rice, it's kind of like a physical exfoliant, but it's far more gentler than typical physical exfoliant. You feel it, but you also don't feel it. It's like kind of sticky feeling if you don't add water to it. It's a little pasty. Yeah, pasty. And then it's like mochi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a mochi on your face. But then when you add water, it just foams up to this really like nice texture and you can use it every day. I've been loving the whole like rice in your cosmetics slash sim skin. Skin care routine. Rice is good for brightening, but also it's just like a really hydrating and nourishing ingredient. Yeah, good for sensitive skin. So these are the two that I like. This one is like a mild exfoliator. This one is just good to use anytime and it like stimulates the <laughs> eyeballs. And this is what like cult favorite. Yes, this is what I've been using for a long, long time now. I actually switched between a few different cleansers, but mm. this is just the one that I gravitate towards most because it's so gentle and I feel like it does exactly what it's supposed to do. I wear sunscreen every day. I don't wear makeup most days. So this, as long as my cleanser can take off my sunscreen, I'm happy. And since the sunscreen that I use is mostly the Crave ones, I'm yeah. like, I want to take the sunscreen Crave off with the cleanser Crave. <laughs> yeah, and actually I think you guys, after we introduced this brand to you, have also tried it and really loved it as well. If you do have a lot of buildup and breakouts, sometimes you'll go towards like cleansers with salicylic acid. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, this is like an everyday kind of thing. Trust this girl. For the days that I do like break out a lot, I have this foaming Asian cleanser with salicylic acid and I can tell it's so drying. It feels very uncomfortable as opposed to ones like this, which actually have a lot of nourishing ingredients. So in that it. you will only use when your skin is like, I need help. Yeah. But this is like a daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the lone wolf here, cleansing oil. Cleansing oil. <laughs> so this is just the one that I've been using. It's like 
almost done now. I actually really love it. It's from Innisfree. It's their refreshing cleansing oil with apple seed. This is the first step in a double cleansing, especially if you wear makeup. So Rowena doesn't like cleansing oils because for whatever reason, it doesn't work for her. No, I don't wear enough makeup. Oh, you don't wear Or it doesn't take off my waterproof makeup because I'm probably not doing it right. Yeah, because it like helps to melt the makeup type of thing. I just really love this scent. It's very gentle. If I get it in my eye, it doesn't burn. That's also one of the pet peeves I have with cleansing oil. If it burns my eyeball, I hate it. They don't all burn. They always put this like clear film on my eyeball and I don't like that. Are you like rubbing it directly? <laughs> no. And sometimes it burns because the makeup gets into yeah. it. But this one is like just very gentle. She loves it. <laughs> so moving on to our toners that we've been loving. So just recap of toners. Toners come after cleansing and it's basically to rebalance your pH level. After you've cleansed, you've stripped some oils, especially if it's a harsh cleanser and you want to put back the hydration. So toner is the first step in that. And so these are the two that Rowena love and these are the three that I like. Yeah. Let's start with this cute one. So the Sioris is a three-in-one toner. It's like a hydrating mist. Mm. It is a toner and it is a serum. It's $22 and then I got it from Amazon. So what it is, it's oil in water and when you're supposed to use it to activate it, you shake it. Shake it, shake it. Whoa, it's so bright. It's so bright and the thing is it separates pretty quickly and here, smell it. <laughs> It kind of smells like lemonade. So what it is, is made with almost like 80% green plum yuja water. And then the oil is three types of oil, jojoba, macadamia, and sunflower oil. So it's very nourishing, very hydrating, perfect for the winter. This one I saw in Leo Yu's video. And when I saw it and she recommended it, this is like her holy grail. I was like, I must try it. Yeah. And now that I've tried it, I'm like, I must share it with you guys. <laughs> so actually, yeah, let me got spray so it on your oils, skin to it's show. kind of like, it's already more than a normal toner. Yeah, and I like how you can spray it. And so you can layer it if you need more. I use this twice a day, most of the time, morning and night. And I'm sure in the summertime, just one or two spritz is enough. Winter, I do like five. If you do find mists, you can use interchangeably as yeah. a toner. It's just like nice to spritz on mm -hmm. after you cleanse it when it's like so dehydrated. <laughs> and then, so this one is the one that we talked about in our hype videos. Yeah. This is the one that you guys actually request. Pian Thank you guys so much much for asking us to review it because this has quickly become one of my favorites. It's mm. made with 93% astragalus membranous root extract. Yes. But the thing is, it's like thicker than a toner. It's watery, but then it's kind of goopy. It's so hydrating. So hydrating. And I feel like when I use this, all I need is after tone. cleansing, tone, yeah. and then moisturizer. So do you use these together mm -mm. or separate? I use them separate because these are both very hydrating and these are both yeah, like bases, like the first thing you should put onto your face after cleansing. Mm. So I use these two interchangeably. And I feel like maybe you would use this when you need more because it's got so many mm -hmm. oils in it. Mm -hmm. Just like that extra TLC. Extra, extra. So this one is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid. I think this one's really popular for those of you who break out. Paula's Choice is obviously a very popular brand as well because it's very affordable. Is this like the Cosrx of America? I think so. It's like only ingredients are needed. Are yeah. In the and because it's 2% BHA liquid, it helps to like decongest clogged pores. It also helps build collagen and diminishes like how big your pores actually are. At the beginning, I used this as a toner and then I realized you actually have to use it after cleansing toner and then this. So it's actually like a toner serum <laughs> and I used it wrong for a very long time. It wasn't too crazy. It's kind of like... It doesn't burn or anything, but if you have super sensitive skin, 2% might be a lot. Because compared to the COSRX toners, mm -hmm. which have like 0.1%, yeah, which is like hardly anything. Yeah. So that's very, very gentle. This is 2%, so it's really going to help with your pores because salicylic acid is a BHA that goes deep into the pores to help get out the sebum. Whereas like AHA, it's only water soluble. So it only goes so far. More like on the surface layer yeah. of your skin. You can use this um, morning and night but in the morning, just remember to pair this with a sunscreen just to protect your skin. So then moving on to this one, I only just started using, this is the Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water by Wish Trend. I actually really like this because not many products have just Mandelic Acid. So Mandelic Acid is another AHA. I find it's pretty gentle. Is it a good beginner's intro to exfoliating acids? Would you recommend? Yeah, it's kind of similar to, you know, ordinary stuff. You put it on a cotton pad and then it helps decongest and get 
the dead skin away. It's got water as the first ingredient, mandelic acid, butylene glycol, which helps with hydration. And then it's also got sweet almond fruit extract, licorice root extract. Licorice root is good for coming inflammation. I'll use this not every day, but maybe like three or four times a week. And then this on days where I feel like my pimples are blazing <laughs> their pods on my face. So this sounds like it's very hydrating. There's also sodium hyaluronic. And it's also got like castor oil in that, but that's a little bit further down. 5%, I don't know if it's a lot because I haven't used anything that has just straight up mandelic acid, but I recommend you guys try this one. Ooh, serums! All right, so we have this La Roche-Posay Hyla B5 Serum. Hyaluronic acid is very hydrating because it pulls moisture from the deeper layers of your skin as well as from like outside okay. environmental to help you hydrate your skin. And this is like a very watery gel-like texture. It's kind of thick. Yeah, it is, but clear and it's yeah. like slime. It's meant to help with fine lines and wrinkles and help plumps your skin, helps hydrate your skin. Yeah. And I use this day and night, and this is all I've been using Whoa, for a long time. Whoa, it's very strong scent. Mm -hmm. It smells very fresh. And I just like that there's two hyaluronic acids. So there's like hydrogenolized hyaluronic acid and mm -hmm. sodium hyaluronate. What I've learned recently is that having dry skin is a reason for having big pores. So to not have big pores, a huge part of the process to hydrate your skin and to keep it moisturized. Yeah. And then this this is Tatcha's new Violet C Brightening Serum. This is actually a night serum. This has Japanese angelicru and vitamin C for brightening, evening out dull skin. This is a very interesting texture. It's kind of very liquidy. It's so watery. It's like water, it's like essence. But I think this one's just like very lightweight. Yeah, I think it's very lightweight. I stopped using it for the past week because I got kind of sniffly. And so this part is very, very sensitive <laughs> and very red. I have a lot of freckles, I have some sunspots, sun but when I did use this for two weeks straight, they all cleared up. They didn't clear up, but like they lightened for wow. sure. And my skin looked visibly brighter and not as dull. I feel like vitamin C is like a staple for any of you guys. You should probably pick one that has vitamin C, especially to use during the day because it is a free radical scavenger, which means that it will protect your skin from environmental factors. When you wear vitamin C, always follow up again with a sunscreen during the day. It just helps with reducing your melanin production. So things like freckles, dark age spots, or just like pigmentation in general, like vitamin C will help that, but also just like protect it as well. I feel like vitamin C works better as a serum. For my specific skin type, hydration and the brightening. Mm. These are to my BFFs. What yes. about you? Me. Okay, so like lazy girls type <laughs> serum. This has probably been my second one. It's the Huxley Secret of the Sahara Essence Grab Water. So essentially it's kind of the same as this. It's like very hydrating. It's got cactus root extra. I really love this Ooh. brand because all It's like the... aloe. Yeah, it's also got aloe in it. This brand is just very hydrating and it's Korean and I get it off Style Korean. So like what I like to do is just put maybe like two to four drops and then just like press it into mm. the skin. Especially, you know, where your pores are. The reason why your pores get big is because you don't give it enough hydration, enough TLC. And so it just tries to create more oil for you, which then enlarges the pore. Isn't it cute, these little drop off forms? I love it. I love how skincare packaging is just so scientific in a way. It's yeah. like we all want to be our own scientist. I feel like this one and probably this one, it's a no-brainer. You can use it every day, you can use it in the morning, use it at night, whenever you just need a serum to hydrate. So hmm. this I want to mention because it's like, she was so excited about it. Yeah, it's called Ven. It's an all-in-one age-reversing concentrate. So basically you don't have to use anything else after cleansing uh -huh. because it's got 19 bioactive ingredients and the ingredient that's highlighted is Compound K, which is a extract of ginseng. So the ginseng is what helps with age reversing wrinkles, fine lines, pores, hydration. It's like just a lightweight moisturizer, but essentially you can use this everywhere. The reason why I really like this is because it's not greasy. It really isn't. Yeah, it just like sinks in so like quickly. Butter. Because it is quite expensive, it's $185, but it's only because it's packed with like 19 of these supercharged bioactive ingredients. They like took the extract of it to formulate this. For a brand to come out with one product is actually not very good for their like <laughs> business model. But 
But right? I was just gonna say for something like this being $180, think of how much it is for you to buy a separate toner, mm. essence, serum, and moisturizer. I just really like this. It's simple, it's moisturizing and hydrating. I don't have to think about anything else, and it's got all the good stuff. Haven't reacted to it, I have sensitive skin. I wouldn't use this when I'm breaking out because it doesn't do enough to help fight the extra sebum. But this is good on like a normal day if you have normal skin, if you just need hydration. You could even just use a toner as well and then use this. It's really up to you. I like it. So there's one really cool thing I want to share with you guys. Recently, we've both been using this facial wand. There's a hot and cold setting, which helps with absorption of your products. When your skin is hot, your pores are a little bit bigger. It's a little bit looser. So what this does on the hot setting, apply it with your serum or your moisturizer or whatever it is to help with the penetration So the first it. time I used it, I wasn't used to it. I was like, oh my God, why is it so hot? It's actually not that hot, but it's you're not just hot. not used to hot stuff on your face. Yeah. But then after I used it for like five seconds, I was like, this is so relaxing. So then cold makes your skin contract, which means your pores will seem smaller. It like also vibrates. Kind of like, you know, the Clarisonic Mia. Yeah. Like when you're cleansing it, it has like vibrations to help like your cleanser work better. This is better for your skincare products that go on yes. afterwards. If you're investing so much in serums and all yeah. these hydrating products, it you helps it to you. <laughs> so it's not just sitting on the surface of your yeah. skin, just chilling there. It's like really going into the deeper layers. You guys can check this out. We'll link it down below. You can get it for 70% off. Ding! And we're at our last step, which is moisturizing! Let me just first start off by saying I love these two. Mm. This one is thick enough that I don't need to use oil after. And this one is just so nice that I actually don't want to use it because I want to <laughs> save it. <laughs> it's true! So what's this one like? Mamond Intense Cream. They have a lighter version, like mm -hmm. the light version, and they have the intense one. I for sure need the intense one, especially when it's winter time. And it's just so thick, so rich, so creamy, so nourishing, so hydrating. All the words that you can think of when for you think about- For a moisturizer. About, yeah, for a moisturizer. Oh my and God, it smells so good. Yeah, I just put it on, I'm like, Whoa. yes, I can go to bed. Oh my God. A little recap for moisturizing. Mm -hmm. Moisturizing is one of the most important. Basically everything up till moisturizer is to inject moisture. And then the moisturizer not only moisturizes, but it traps it all in it's there. It's like a blanket. This cream is definitely 10 times heavier than Tatcha's water cream. It's a lot thicker, it's a lot creamier. I know a thicker cream does not equal a more moisturizing cream, but it just feels nice. The thicker the cream, it's like designed for drier skin, right? Yeah. Which means there's like more of those fatty essential oils in it. Because if I were to use this, maybe it would be too much and break me out, but for dry skin people, it's like enriched with more yes. of that potentness. The Drunk Elephant Lala Rocho, that mm. one is like a whipped texture. Mm. So it's still kind of airy and a little fluffy. Yeah. And then this one's just like dense. Yeah, it's ah. a really good word. It's very dense <laughs> and I like it. And this is like half the price of the Lala Rocho. Lala Rocho is like 40 something, mm. right? This one's like 20, 22, or something. yeah. And then the water cream. This is just like game changer. So we talk a lot about this in our second Hyped Review video, so we won't like go that much into it yeah. again. But the magic with this is the cream goes on to your skin and it bursts into water. And then it creates this like veil of smoothness on your skin that is indescribable. So intensely hydrating and then it's so smooth. I think it says a lot when both of us love this, but we don't want to use it. <laughs> yeah. Often because it's like we want to savor it. I don't yeah. even know for when, you know, but yeah. it's like I just want to save it for like, as I long feel as I like can. It's a waste if our skin is bad or yeah. something because it's like I'm not doing you justice. Mm -hmm. But it's also so pretty mm -hmm. to sit on your vanity or something. Yeah. So, so the thing with Tatcha is like their proprietary ingredients is like yeah. the blend, the Hadashi 3, <laughs> the red algae, the rice, and the green tea extract. Mm -hmm. So the three of them together, it's in every single one of the products as it is in here. So this is brightening this is pore perfecting, there's Japanese wild rose. It's just awesome. I've never come across a moisturizer like this one and I'm pretty sure you guys haven't as well until you've used it. <laughs> this is suitable for all skin types. It's deeply hydrating. It smells great. It's very lightweight. So That's sell it! <laughs> for days that you want to moisturize but you want to use a mask, there's sleeping masks. And this one is the Allies of Skin Promise Keeper Blemish Facial. So this is basically a sleeping mask that's for controlling hormonal acne. And you can actually 
actually use this every day. It helps to fight breakouts. It decongests the pores. It's got chemical exfoliants in it to like break it down. So it's got HA and BHA. So there's mandelic acid, lactic acid, azalic acid, which also helps with hyperpigmentation and improving the texture of your skin. Smell it, yes, smell it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> A little oh. medicinal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because like honey, like raw honey. Mm, because it's got the manuka honey in it. So manuka honey is only harvested one time every year. That's why it's so special. It's only harvested by one type of bee, and then the flower only blooms once a year. That's why it's so medicinal. That's why it has so many like health benefits. Yes. Straight up, there's no fragrance. Everything that's in here is just basically mm. the extract of it. If you guys are suffering with breakouts, I use this maybe like one or two weeks before my period comes because that's when it's like coming out full force. But I also found when I first started using this, there was slight purging, which makes me very confused whether it's actually like breaking out from the product or purging. And I think a lot of you asked this too. Like, how do you tell the difference? Purging is basically because all the ingredients are increasing the cell turnover. It's like pushing all the toxins out of your skin. The purging is what comes out of that just to like make it all come out, right? Yeah. But that should subside in a couple of days. Whereas if it's inflammation, it's gonna hurt. Mm. It's just a completely different process <laughs> because that's prolonged. But purging can also take up to a month. So it might be a little bit hard to tell, but that's why we always say like when you use new products, give it a fighting chance. So how you use this is it's a leave-on mask. So you can use your toner, you can use a serum and then this replaces the moisturizing step. It's a little bit pricey, Allies of Skin. I think the brand premise of this is highly active ingredients that really target specific things. If you're fighting breakouts, try this one. Wait, I almost forgot about this one. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. And I actually do this That's on a so daily cute. basis. They look like they're from the same family. Yeah. So this has hyaluronic acid, which I feel like is really good. And the texture of this is really good for like a summer gel. Oh, that's why you use it. As a moisturizer, yeah. So I use this as a base for like double the hyaluronic acid after I already used the hyaluronic acid serum. And then I put on the moisturizer to trap it all in. So this is like, to me, it's like a match made in heaven. Your face must smell so good. Mm -hmm. I don't even know Be what like. it smells like at the end of it. <laughs> but the thing is, I feel like the La Roche Posay one just like it just like comes out through all of them. Oh, the scent. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that was our current skincare routine slash favorites. On a monthly basis, we do always like change a few things up. Because we recommended a few different options, that just means you can switch your toner, your serum, just depending on how you feel. And I think that's like the basis of skincare. You wake up and you don't really ask yourself, but you just feel like what you like, what do you need? What do you, yeah. what do you feel like your skin needs? And I think this is just like general basic awareness of how your skin is. Feeling. Yeah, and it like it takes time for you to get familiar with like, okay, you wake up, you're like, okay, I think my skin needs more hydration today. Yeah. Or I think I'm about to break out. I feel like I'm about to break out because of like all these different factors yeah. so that I'm gonna use something to help me prevent. These are our suggestions at the end of the day. You just wanna find out what works for you. And like pricing and all that plays a part in it, but generally you can find a lot of good products at the drugstore as well, kind of like the Leverage per se. And Google is your best friend. If for example, you guys want to try the water bank, but you're like, okay, it's gonna break my bank, so I don't actually want to get it. You can Google Tatcha, actually it's a water cream, I don't know why I keep calling it water bank, but the Tatcha water cream dupe, and then you'll be able to find really good alternatives for something like this. People on the interwebs are very active in doing research yeah. and sharing their findings like what we're doing. For you. Yeah, so if you are interested in any of these, but you can't seem to spend the full amount, you can definitely look up dupes or you can definitely try searching to see if there's something that's similar for a far more mm, lesser price a, yeah friendly price yeah so just keep in mind you just want a good cleanser you want like maybe a vitamin c serum or a hydrating serum you want some sort of exfoliant for the week physical exfoliant as in like you can feel the it micro grains of rice yeah. or the like mandelic chemical. acid which is chemical which helps to get away the dead skin that physical exfoliants can't and just hydrate 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 and that is the key to happy healthy skin yeah, anti-aging really. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Make sure you've caught up on all our skincare 101 basics. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye!